Quality improvement, or QI, is critical to enhancing healthcare safety, effectiveness, and efficiency, and is a key component of reimbursement and maintenance of certification, but often difficult to undertake outside of a large healthcare system. This digital QI was designed to make the process easier for your team and your practice, but effective in improving system practices and impactful in improving patient outcomes. Does your practice care for patients with diabetes? Are you a hospital or community pharmacist who assesses, educates, and monitors patients with diabetes? Not sure if QI makes sense for you? Take a quick look inside to see how this digital QI program, developed by Purdue University College of Pharmacy and the ACHL, can support your clinical or pharmacy practice in quality improvement to prevent and prepare for severe hypoglycemia. Let's begin. Using this simple, systematic approach for QI for application at any practice setting, from the hospital to the private primary care practice to the community pharmacy, we provide the framework and tools you need to help your patients prevent, recognize, and manage hypoglycemic events. We've structured this to be easy as one, two, three. Step one, complete a self-assessment to see where your practice falls relative to eight performance measures on your risk assessment practices and alignment to guidelines. Upon completion of the self-assessment, your specific areas of improvement will be highlighted. Step two, these highlighted performance areas will migrate into a draft action plan. Pick and choose which of these domains will be included in your QI program. This program should be designed to meet your individual practice needs, so choose as many or as few measures work best based on time and resources available. Once you've chosen your areas for improvement, begin populating your action plan. The first step is to establish goals. You can choose to use a predetermined goal offered by the system or create your own customized goal. To build and edit your action plan, click on the pencil icon. Not sure what interventions will support you and your practice in achieving your goals? Our expert faculty have pre-developed process and training interventions. Use these or develop your own. Again, the choice is up to you. Step 3. After at least 30 days, we'll remind you to log in and reassess and reflect on your action plan. You'll review each action and let us know what you have implemented and what degree of success was realized. Once your self-reflection is completed, you'll receive your certificate. We recommend you share your findings with key stakeholders in your organization to reflect on ongoing improvements and or future opportunities. But if QI isn't right for you, we have other avenues for you to improve your practice. There is an online toolkit that offers every intervention and resource that's available in the QI. And you'll also hear from our faculty on why these tools are essential for your practice. Included in this toolkit is a hypoglycemia assessment and management tool for ongoing use. We encourage you to use this tool for all your patients with diabetes to continually assess their risk for hypoglycemia and ensure they are prepared.